Hey, do you know that Steve Punk has made a new video? What? Really? Yep, that's what people are watching right now. Cool. I still have quite a lot of videos that I just didn't finish up. I mean, what is spring? Preview? Ooh! I think I remember that. I'll delete all the other videos. <laughs> I really don't know if I ever finished that but what you just heard there is go fish officers music and that's another part that I need to put into this video about the sticker that I received and a sweet little message in the card I received that a while ago <clears throat> yep I'm just checking it is recording so I wanted to at least see if this works just using a screen recording and with the microphone option on. So I'm replying to your comments. Anyway, um, this is really important to me. I've been overwhelmed by the amount of people concerned about me and you know positivity and stuff brilliant so southern crossfits my buddy len over in america over the pond as people say hey bud that guitar actually sounds pretty good well the amp doesn't that's the problem with this video of mine only a little 5 watt micro amp uh, the distortion sounded horrible I should have just kept it on the clean channel instead of having the overdrive thing on which is when you turn the knob to the full right on the thing but never mind this video like in my last video to what you're watching now I really like your comment and as always I really appreciate your comments so what's going on please elaborate on what you feel about beyond April 2023 right I'll explain it here I'm going to stop recording get my explanation to the best of my ability and then I'll start recording this screen record thing again because I only want to explain things to the best it was the 24th of April when I started this channel and it is the later end of March now there you go Thursday March to the 30th I've tried to basically not quite quit but stop doing YouTube to see what else I can have my mind set on like anything else I can do with my life instead of constantly thinking about YouTube um, so the best way I can explain this is as like every anniversary of this channel every year I'm thinking I want to move on to something else without YouTube constantly being in my mind as it is
kind of an addiction in a way because I'm constantly thinking about it like how or what should I do next for YouTube and I really need to break away from that and see what else I can do I simply can't explain it very well although Len you will say that I do explain it very well because you're a great guy you understand and, and but there's also my thoughts on what existence really is and this has wound me up for Mm, I would say nearly 10 years now. I just don't know what existence is and I've been, like I became really frustrated about the whole thing. And why I put Marilyn Manson in my last video is because I needed a form of outlet to kind of get my point across of how I've been feeling. I do have a lot of difficulty explaining or rather expressing how I feel. Skew if, I mean, skew if, anyway. We go back a uh, ways now. Peaks and valleys is what life is about for everybody. Yeah, I totally get that. And there's my reply. I will elaborate in my next video, which I'm doing right now. Which I'm recording right now. I wanted you comment presented on the band part of this video because you're a cool guy I appreciate your comments so on to the next one these are out of time though hold on what if I go to newest um I could have eh. I'll give Mojo a shout out hello Mojo <laughs> Great guy. Sorry I haven't watched any of your videos for a while, but I will be sure to do that today. Oh, tapped the wrong thing there. There's a shout out to Grilling and Chilling with Mojo. Dave, hi, you okay? And I replied. I'm okay, thanks for your concern. I hope you're doing well. I didn't want to ask about Bella the dog in case anything happened has happened to her. How is Bella? How's Charmaine? How are the kids in your family, you know? As I do care about people. Um, hold on, am I missing somebody here? Mojo, Dave, Len, Jimmy. Nice, you will never go hungry or skint if you can play a musical instrument. Have a great summer, plenty of sunshine to chill with the music, pal. Yeah, definitely, bro. But I replied, and, and I'm saying, but I replied... <laughs> Never go hungry or skint? Wanna bet? You need a license to... Busk. Don't you? It is a possibility though. I could become a busker. As much as... They have bad names. I've recorded some buskers. You can play Metallica and stuff and... 
Yeah. Nice people. That was just in the, like, in my town here, in South Shields, in the northeast of England. A plant of mine. Uh, sorry, my speech is a bit weird. Deep breath. And try to focus. I plan to mention those incense sticks in my next video. Now, that is this video. So, I will talk about them. Mm, maybe that's the next part of this video. Or a couple of parts away. I don't know right now. So, cheers, Jimmy. You're cool. friendly kind. Okay, why are you here? Well, I have some good news and some bad news. What's the good news? That time machine you're working on will successfully launch next Thursday. That's great. Unfortunately, it explodes mid-flight and sends your ghost back in time. Hello! Hey, it's Time Traveling Tim! I wanted to give you this Get Well card. I'm surprised you're home already. Get well from what? Oh, nuts. Hold on. I'm a week early. I'm an idiot! I've been putting off this project forever, but now that I've started it, I can see this is what I was meant to do. I can't believe I wasted five years avoiding it. Pretend it was 15 years. What? You actually put this off for 15 years and traveled back in time to right now. You get to redo the next decade the way you've always wanted. Hello. Um, that's not a sweat pack. That's a shadow. <laughs> Let's talk about a suggestion from Jimmy. Am I even saying your name right? I don't know. I know a lot of Jimmys and... Nah, I'm not going to just simply ramble on. But Jimmy suggested this white sage incense stick. Now, I simply can't afford the really expensive stuff. And I didn't go for the cheapest stuff. I bought these... Mm, rough guess about two months ago these are in between the cheap crap and the full on proper expensive stuff so like you have to meet me or rather I meet you halfway so I bought these hem white sage incense sticks but it was around 14 or 15 pound do i really need to cut this one open bastard can't believe it's just crap No, it's being pure nasty to me. Going in the bin. Oh, shit. Oh, I've got me on my lower legs now. <laughs> I've got you.
Don't worry. Did I up there? Something's changed from what I can see on the screen anyway. Yeah, they do smell really nice. Hmm. Thing with these though is the smell different in various parts of this incense stick. That is very menthol. More like spearmint or peppermint in the middle. And something I can't really explain down by the bottom. I do cough a lot with these when they are lit, but, like, you know, like I'm sensitive to this stuff, the smoke that comes off it, whatever. But they do smell really nice. I hate the term of lit, meaning legitimate, right? Anyway, let's get this. Lit. <laughs> I always do that. Hit it first to get the gas out because usually when you just try to use the flint thing it never lights the first time. No lighter ever does it. In my experience anyway. I think I'm covering the microphones now but whatever. Do it. Do it. Oh, sorry if I blinded you. So I'll leave it for a few seconds, then blow it out, then it stays lit. I can smell it already. I need to keep this away from the fire alarm stuff on the ceiling there. I think that's the active one and that one is some old thing yeah I do still have my ultraviolet light bulb I think it's what 40 watt or something it does make this room look awesome when it's switched on oh. Hello, Neil, even though I'm trying to get this nail varnish off. I don't know. I don't know what this video has become, but... Hmm. Very hippie-like. I remember the old incense sticks reminding me of members of my family that have passed away a few years ago. Anyway, I'm going to shut up now. <laughs> there you go. Shout out to Jimmy. Thanks for your suggestion. Welcome viewer number three, Steve Punk. Ain't seen you around in a while. God bless you. Still walking the earth. Yeah, you go, Steve. Fighting gravity every day. It's amazing. It's simply amazing. These Englishmen are resilient, but Steve Punk, this is uh Tog, Tog, Steve Punk. Like I said earlier in the video, in this video that is, that I don't know if I've actually made a video about this. This was sent to me December in 2021 and it's now April 
2023. So, yeah, these are some nice things from Toy Man and Fishy. Toy Man's in Toronto, in Canada, and Fishy is in. If I can remember. Yeah, I've just took a sneak peek at the envelope because her dress is behind this card. Minneapolis. Cool. Trying my best to not give any information away here. Thank you. From Toy Man and Fishy. Awesome. So, here's the sticker. I'm saving this sticker until I have somewhere... Let's just say, until I can find somewhere that will be a lasting place to stick it. 